Hello guys, and in this video you'll know how to divide your model to parts in ZBrush and how to prepare your model for 3D printing. And here is the final result of dividing our model. And after which tutorial, you'll be able to do the same thing with your own models. Here are the parts of the model we are going to have after dividing it. First of all, we need to select the part of the model that we want to divide and add a new cube with a pen button. After this, we should place it where the seam of the model is going to be. We can do it using Gizmo 3D and Move Brush. After we are done, we should check that this cube is going through all the place where the seam will be. And after this, we can divide this cube in geometry menu to get more polygons. Next, we need to use this cube as a boolean mesh and turn the live boolean button on. And now we press button what is called make boolean mesh. Wait. Press append and select the latest model. After this, we need to open polygroups menu and press auto groups so our model is divided by two polygroups. Now we need to select one of them pressing Ctrl and Shift. After this, we should mask this entire polygroup with Ctrl and press split mask points button which you can find in subtools menu. Also, make sure that you press Ctrl Shift again so there is the whole model back on your canvas. Now we can delete the cube. Now we have two parts but we don't have any keys to connect this part. On internet I found the brush for keys which you can download from the link in the description. Then you downloaded it, you need to press B on your keyboard and press load brush in this menu. We select this brush and we can see two shapes of the keys that we can use. I actually highly recommend you to use the first one because it's easier to assemble the model after printing it. And now we select one of the keys and put it on the joint of our two parts. Now we need to duplicate our head and hide all the subtools except for the duplicated head and the body. Now we select our duplicated head and we need to slightly inflate it so we have a gap between the keys. You can find the inflate function in the formation menu which you can find in tools menu. After this we need to use this head as a boolean mesh and turn the live boolean button on. Press make boolean mesh and add the new model to our scene, delete our duplicated head and now we can do exactly the same process with the mustache, but now we don't need to add any cubes because the mustache is already a separate object. When it comes to the tail, we do the same process, add the key, copy, inflate, hide, make new mesh, add new mesh to our scene with a pen button and delete the duplicated object. With the hand, we do the same process as with the head and the body. Add a cube, size it, place it, divide it, make boolean mesh, auto group it, separate it to two objects and add the key. Copy, inflate, hide, make new mesh, add the new mesh to our scene and delete the duplicated objects. Before adding the key to the body, I used knife curve brush to do its bottom flat. And after this, I did the same process as for the mustache. When we have all the keys and parts, it's time to think about the optimization of our model, so it has a little bit less polygons. As a first step, we should press W, select the gear and press remesh by union, so the parts of the object can connect. As a second step, we should press split to parts and if you got a new sub tool, you should delete it. And finally, we select the plugin menu and select Decimation Master. 
Select freeze boards and keep poly painting. After this you should press the pre-process current button. After this we select the number of polygons we want to have on this object and press decimate current. We wait again. We should do this process with each part of the model. And finally, our model is ready for printing. Thank you for watching, don't forget to like, subscribe and share.